The overall goal of this procedure is to determine the presence or absence of a panel of specific nucleic acid sequences previously amplified in a multiplex PCR reaction. This is accomplished by first fixing amine-labeled DNA probes to a reusable nylon membrane. Biotin-labeled PCR products are then hybridized to the membrane-bound probes and streptavidin peroxidase conjugate is added to the bound PCR products. Next, the bound PCR products are detected by adding chemiluminescence detection reagents and exposing the membrane to high-sensitivity X-ray film. Finally, the membrane is washed to remove the hybridized PCR products, allowing it to be reused for future assays. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show hybridization of PCR products to the membrane-bound probes on the X-ray film. The main advantages of this technique over existing methods, such as multiplex PCR with gel electrophoresis, real-time PCR or microarray, is that it's high throughput, relatively rapid, does not require any specialised equipment, and most importantly, is inexpensive. Before beginning, prepare the following solutions according to the written portion of this protocol. To prepare the membrane, preheat the oven to 60 degrees Celsius. Clean the mini blotter with 70% ethanol. Dilute the oligonucleotide probes in 0.5 molar sodium bicarbonate to a final concentration of 2 picomoles per microliter and a volume of 200 microliters. Cut the nylon membrane to 15 by 15 centimeters. Using a pencil and ruler, mark off a 0.5 centimeter space across the top of the membrane.